Hello friends, my name is Renuka and today I'll make uh, some uh, cards with the sea size makeup pack and uh, there are uh, really nice some beautiful pattern papers coming in it and I'm planning to use this uh, pre-cut uh, cardstock it is in craft um, color and this one is like five and a half by five and a half and it came with the matching envelope you can create your own by using uh, scrapbook paper so for these I'm choosing this um, three four papers to use now I just went ahead and do some uh, cutting here so I just choose one one of these paper and cut out these small sheeps with it and we'll use that for the card also so first of all for this card uh, I need uh, I'm planning to do to create some kind of scene here and for that I need to cut everything by measuring it so I will just I'm gonna cut a little bit uh, from this side uh, it's like two inches and then I want ne next cut at um, five and a half so I'll get this kind of strips where you can see these boards and then after that I need to put these somewhere like this and then create some kind of uh, waves here so I'm kind of seeing that uh, I, I should cut more of it so I'll use that strip for the another thing and now I'm cutting it for like three and a quarter inches so in that way I'll get the more sky area with those birds and don't worry we're gonna use that stripe strip also for the next thing so I'm planning to just put this here then we'll cut out these then we are planning to then I'm planning to create the waves with this two pattern paper just to create a dimension and I'll use the paper smooches wave dye for that and then I'll put at the last uh, these people so I'll speed up the process so here I'm just cutting these papers to fit in that uh, five and a half by five and a half rectangle so basically I'm just creating width of five and a half uh, inches here and for the height I'm just eyeballing it that how much I need it or I can trim off if everything is excess so make sure that you will get little bit excess than whatever you needed so uh, here I'm creating kind of paper layer card uh, I'll show you uh, in the next video that how you can create the same technique for the step up card and the acyl cards too so I'm just cutting this dye paper uh, with the paper smooches uh, a wavy dye uh, if you don't have wave dye just use your scissors or you can just create that uh, your hand it's not necessary then just for adding little bit of dimension and it should look different from the each side i decided to add these colors so i'm using here sea salt and uh, the sketch blueprint color these papers are quite uh, having busy dimensions so um those will not show prominently but the same time it will give a different kind of uh, depth to your paper so make sure to use that to differentiate your pattern papers uh, I love these pattern papers and uh, I want to use them in a such a way that uh, they create a scene uh, here this card is quite a versatile you can use for anything like happy journey happy traveling or if someone is going for a cruise holiday or if someone liking C, you can send them like a happy birthday or see you soon or uh, this is kind of versatile one you can use it for anything now i'm just with switching that as this paper is double sided you can see and now i'm using the fish and first i use the waves and now i will use the waves again i'm just keeping that rocks here um i'll use that with those uh, creating the sea scenes uh with uh, another card maybe so uh, I'll just uh, use same technique and make two cards uh, for these I'm just 
switching those uh, leaves and uh, waves there and uh, now you can see that I used that uh, silver mirror paper which came in a kit uh, and cut out the sheep with that and I'll put that sheep and then I'm using the lawn fawn sentiment here because uh, um, as you know this don't come with the sentiment so then I'm kind of adjusting and using my scraps to fill those gap and I'm using Tombow Mono liquid glue it gives me a little bit of uh, room to move that so i can adjust the things quite well and uh, these are lots of layers and the last layer i add a little bit of uh, fun foam or you can use the foam tape i'm using here foam tape and then i'll put one acrylic block on the sheep so that it will dry properly then just to match the blue color and theme i'm using here momento blue ink and it says you float my boat so and then I might adding little bit small sheep and boards whatever you say in those waves to just to create a scene and making visual triangle there inside also I am adding three sheep to create kind of a fun interactive ways uh, to uh, the card and um, so you can add all the sheep in the inside and you can match the same thing inside too now here I'm just giving the options that um, for the first card that you can add the sheep or you can add something here but I just keep that part and I just uh, put the sentiment happy birthday here with the red momento ink it's the rosebud ink and it's kind of matching with the fish and the uh, some kind of um, sheep's color there also and then putting little bit of no drops and that completes this card so we complete two cards the bigger size now this kit also came with this beautiful stamps and i decided to use the whole stamp uh, for creating the front of my card here i'm creating the card base and then i decided to add this stripe paper which came in a kit and i'm just cutting a uh, stripe which is lesser than the half inch and then i'm cutting the half inch black stripe and I will put those in the corner of uh, this card now this is kind of new home card I'm not adding much dimension to it but you can add the foam foam or the foam tape behind that stripe also to create more dimension or you can uh, just cut that part put black card on the base of the card and put the all um, stamp fun in front to create the dimension this time I just keep that part and see that how it works and this is a happy new home sentiment i use this happy words from superhero sentiment from my mft and then the new home is like just a small stamp by studio g with me which i bought from the michaels a long ago and i use this just like that uh, with combining other stamps so it's kind of uh, combination of two fonts and i really like how it come out and then i'm using that scrap piece which is left over from that stripe uh, one and i'm putting this um, with the help of tombow mono glue again you can put a fun foam or you can raise it by adding little bit of foam tip behind it i'm just buffing off the excess powder as i heat emboss that with the hero arts white embossing powder and it's really nice so now i want to just uh, show one home which is kind of prominent in a town so i decided to pick colors from those stripes and i use blue and yellow color here here i'm using spectrum aqua marker but basically it doesn't mean anything you can use anything you have just make sure that the ink you are using is uh, accepting that marker now i just cover the whole front of it and then i decided add a little bit of pop of those yellow to matching the uh, house uh, or home where so this completes another card and then for the same neck it out i use the simon stitch rectangle and this is the six die which is kind of versatile one and it having one sentiment that says from our home to yours so i decided it would be fun to add those because it's like a town and lots of homes so again i'm picking those colors now here i'm showing this paper first of all i think that i will cut little bit of houses from there and just to skip uh, uh, the where is in the beach one so now i'm using yellow and rosebud red ink from momento and you can see that i'm just uh, removing the paper and 
just moving the paper and using the same stamp positioner each, each time and you will get in a, a kind of row and kind of matching that thing i decided to add a yellow base to my card and then i decided to use this uh, beautiful pattern paper came in a kit and it's kind of really thick one and having lots of houses same as your um, stamp there but um, the size is different yeah uh, so but still i want to use that so i just cut out a little row of houses there fuzzy cut out it and i'm using little b scissors it's really nice and then i just decided to add again those same two colors the pink and the yellow and here i'm using a little brush to just get little bit shading you can go crazy with it and color all those houses windows with like in every detail of that uh, but at this time i just keep that part and just put those yellow and pink color just to match the from our house to your house and i decided to pop them by using ek dots and these are one fourth i think yeah and uh, then i just put them little bit offset so that they look different from the background and then i decided to add the sentiment sending hugs so it's like sending hugs from our home to your home so this card will work for any occasion basically so i'm stamping this sending although i want to do here the stamping with was fine and adding white embossing but i just keep that part and add the color box uh, white pigmenting stamp that both do two times this is the painted hugs dice from silences i use that and this is my old technique to uh, kind of color with the two shades and using the aqua color markers or uh, and then just use little bit of water and you can add shimmer at this moment by the way when i cut this uh, die cut i just uh, stick a one foam before cutting it and then i cut the paper and foam uh, through it so it will cut nicely same time i have a different kind of depth to it i get an height so i'm quite happy with that then i'm just kind of putting all the things together here and using acrylic block to stay everything in the same uh, thing and then add little bit of pretty pink wash uh, clear uh, silver sequence and these are uh, like in different sizes here and just put little bit here and there so kind of giving a nice thing so it's like a very refreshing and fun card i'm here to just share the different uh, techniques and views that how you can use this kit i hope you like this idea for using those dies uh, uh, make sure to watch my unboxing video to uh, where i share a little bit more ideas about this um, stamp now i die cut out these um, two anchors from the watercolor paper i keep those aside for my next project and now i'm adding uh, three colors like salty ocean mermaid lagoon uh pistachio crack pistachio and sketch jeans and some kind of creating the ocean here now here again you have three four options i'm not showing every option but i will tell you what what are those you can just distress this panel and get a bubbly look you can use the darkest color the sketch blue uh, with your wave dye or create your wave dye and just the way you create the clouds by sponging them off you can create waves here uh, with the distress ink although this dye is too in integrate and it's really nice so i don't want to use the pattern paper here i just want that it should stand out properly so i can do the justice with it now i'm just adding little bit of that powder and here i'm using this embossing ink and i will stamp that uh, many times in just random position on that background so it is like tone on tone effect then i decided to add little bit of this paper on the background but somehow i skipped that idea i just want to show you that how i want to do that that's why i did it cut that portion then i choose uh, some sky blue sea green color here and uh, which kind of matching with my colored uh, paper one and then i'm choosing here a mirror gold sheet the supplies you can see in my 
list on my blog or same time you can see in youtube description also then i'm adding this uh, sketch jeans to add more dimension to it so everything look kind of prominent and you can get off little bit of depth on the other sides now you can see that um, if you're having the already colored paper and you are adding the color different color to it like a distress ink or any dry ink it do your work really easy and you don't have to put more colors in that as i'm using this paper as a background i just want to put a little bit on the edges of the card now i'm planning to use this stripe and again put the golden stripe on it to create kind of a you know can you see the pattern on the uh, paper and then i put this golden here uh, this golden and blue color is rich uh, so rich that i don't want to add any pattern paper here i just want to focus that dye and i just want to enhance that dye so i just keep that part and i use all the plain papers here but if you like you can use the pattern papers there are two designs of anchors in pattern paper which kind of match with it or you can use that blue very busy uh, wavy pattern with it also now i'm just adding these dies golden dies on the paper and before that i'm using the this kind of uh, chain here the metal chain which kind of representing and i'm cutting those three and just putting them on the one side kind of balancing the design here because we have one uh, golden on each side and then i um stamp the you are my anchor again from the lawn fawn stamp and i put that on the prima gold vellum paper and then i'm kind of putting that on the side and adding little bit of tape behind it to attach it and then placing the whole panel on it and then i will just use the glossy accent and put those small anchors like a puzzle piece inside those so they kind of create really nice pop with them so i thought that this design is kind of complete here i don't want to add any kind of uh, more gold here but you can use the gold um, nuvo drops or you can use the here the sequence i decided to use little water drops here by pretty pink posh these are the 4mm water drops i don't have the smaller one than this so i just use the glossy accent each time whenever i want to create the two bubbles uh, whenever you are creating kind of bubbles uh, make sure that you have two or three bubbles and those goes in like inclined way and the same time you should remember that uh, when you are creating your bubbles or water bubbles in there uh, one should be bigger and the upper should be smaller because when it goes up it reduces in size so i hope that makes sense so we create this uh, five cards today and soon i'll come with you with the another cards with the same package or the another thing and different ideas if you like my channel do subscribe to it uh, you can hit to bell button so you never miss my video uh, if you like okay. this video you can hit to like button you can follow me on facebook pinterest and instagram uh, and this kit is available on the love from lazy channel uh, and it is like uh, blog also and facebook page also so you can go there and see many varieties how people are doing there i'll post all the links below that where you can find the all stuff the supplies as well as everything about love for lazy so until the next crafty project have a crafty life bye bye